Integer types in C and other programming languages provide a model of a finite subset of the mathematical set of integers. Uh, so typically integers have uh, infinite range in both the positive and negative space. Uh, however, um, a digital representation can only uh, describe a, a finite subset of, of, of that range. The, uh, the value of an object having integer type is the mathematical value attached to that object and the representation of a value for an object having integer type is a particular encoding of the value in the bit pattern contained in the storage allocated for that object. Uh, C supports several representations including sign and magnitude, one's complement and two's complement. Two's complement is the most common representation today on desktop platforms. So C also provides a variety of standard integer types uh, using keyword specified names and allows implementations to define other extended integer types uh, using non-standardized but reserved names. So either of these can be included in the type definitions in the standard headers. So these standard integer types include all the well-known integer types uh, that have existed from the early days of KNRC, uh, including, for example, short and long and uh, int. Those integer types are primarily uh, defined to a provide a close correspondence with the underlying machine architecture uh, so that uh, you can uh, you can have a, a close correspondence to uh, the existing register and, and word sizes on a given platform. So in, each integer type in C requires a fixed number of bytes of storage to represent it. The constant expression char bit, which is defined in the standard limits.h header, gives the number of bits in a byte, uh, which has to be at least 8, but can be uh, larger depending on the specific implementation. An implementation, of course, uh, refers to a compiler and associated libraries. So with the exception of the unsigned character type, not all the bits are necessarily available to represent the value, and any unused bits are referred to as padding. So padding is allowed by the standard so that implementations can accommodate various hardware quirks. Uh, for example, skipping over a sign bit in the middle of a multiple word representation. The number of non-padding bits used to represent a value of a given type is referred to as the width of that type. It may be denoted by uh, this notation, the width of the type, or just by uh, the letter N. The precision is the number of bits used to represent the value, which excludes any sign or padding bits. So, for example, on an architecture such as an x86-32 architecture that doesn't uh, use padding bits, the precision of unsigned type is uh, equivalent to the width of the type, and the precision of a signed type is one less than the width of the type. So this, uh, this subtracts the bit used for the representing the sign. So the standard integer types consist of a set of signed integer types and corresponding unsigned integer types. The C99 standard also introduced a first class boolean type. So an object declared as type bool is large enough to store the values 0 and 1 and acts as an unsigned uh, value. So this is an exception to this rule because there is no corresponding signed boolean type.